It's no surprise that surfing is one of the most dangerous sports in the world. Waves, riptides, and of course drowning being a few of the dangers any surfer knows they can face. But there are some dangers that no surfer can predict. So when a small group of friends go surfing offshore at Reeks Point, it's a gruesome surprise when Zach Young gets attacked by a tiger shark. Hit like and subscribe. This is Fierce. Zach Young was a talented surfer who had just gotten his driver's license and was pumped to go on his first surfing road trip with a small group of his friends, Shaden Schrader, Kurt Gillen, and Lindsay Isaac. At just 19 years old, he had earned the honor of being considered by friends and community members alike one of the nicest kids someone could meet. Zach was a good-hearted kid who was always trying to help people, and over the years, he had earned many awards for sportsmanship, as well as being a dedicated surfer who had been surfing for almost all of his life. He was also a committed Christian who was fun-loving and well-known in his community. He even worked with schools and homeless youth with the Youth for Christ organization. Zach would talk to school students about values, the hurdles he had faced, and how he overcame them during his party life phase two years earlier. The group surfing trip brought them to Campbell's Beach in New South Wales, Australia. 500 meters of beautiful golden sand, perfect for sunbathing and beachcombing, stretched out before them. Campbell's Beach was even great for water activities, like swimming, snorkeling, fishing, and most importantly for the group of friends, surfing. However, this beach sits along the coast of the South Pacific Ocean. The South Pacific Ocean covers a major part of the Southern Hemisphere, and records from this ocean are scarce because large parts are covered by deep sea basins. These sea basins are often too deep for exploration, making them unsuitable to obtain records from. So most of the available data we have from the South Pacific Ocean comes from the data of surrounding continents as educated guesses. Not to mention, it was reported that coral reef bays in the South Pacific Ocean have large populations of endangered species, so there's no knowing exactly what is below those Pacific waters. Mix that with the coast of Australia, and I bet only the brave would walk into the waters of a beach like Campbell's. The locals will also tell you that Reeks Point, off of Campbell's Beach, is a place that's heavily populated by sharks so it wouldn't be too surprising to find a tiger shark lurking in its waters. For those of you who don't know, tiger sharks are named for the dark vertical stripes these sharks have when they're young. As they age, the lines begin to fade and almost disappear. They are scavengers with excellent senses of sight and smell with a nearly limitless diet menu. They are second only to great whites in attacking people. But because they aren't picky eaters, they are more likely to continue eating away at a human than swimming away, as great whites frequently do. Either way, it didn't take the group of teenagers long to get out to a break known as the Well, 100 meters offshore of Reeks Point, north of Coffs Harbor, on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. It's safe to say that no one was expecting what was about to happen moments later. At around 2 p.m., the unsuspecting Zach was happily enjoying his day in the water with his friends, completely unaware of the danger lurking closer and closer to him. Suddenly, sharp teeth sunk into the flesh of his legs and tore into him. His friends quickly jumped to his rescue. They courageously struggled against the shark to free their friend. In a short amount of time, the shark let go, granting the boys a terrifying victory over the beast. However, it wasn't over yet. The boys still had to make the 15-minute paddle back to the shore. The knowledge that the shark could have been circling below as they fled sent terrifying shockwaves of adrenaline through their bodies. One of the boys, Lindsay, believed the shark was at least an 8-foot-long tiger shark. Yet these three brave boys managed to pull through and bring Zack to the safety of the shore. Tragically, their courageous acts went unrewarded as their efforts weren't enough to save Young in time. As he bled to death in the water, Zack managed to tell the heroic trio, I love you guys, I love you, as his last words before going into cardiac arrest and dying on the beach. The boys, unable to believe they had lost their friend, performed CPR until the paramedics arrived. The vicious attack initiated a shark incident response plan. 
Surf Life Saving New South Wales immediately closed the beaches around Reeks Point, and water police started patrolling the area late on Saturday night. Lifeguards warned Coffs Harbor hotels not to allow their guests to go down to the beaches. Meanwhile, water police, marine rescue, and surf life saving volunteers searched the area for the shark. A shark biologist even traveled to the scene to study the attack pattern so they could identify the species of shark. A detailed forensic analysis of Zach's wounds was also completed. The study included an analysis of the jaw width, which was compared to the three main predatory shark species in the area, eventually confirming that a three-meter-long tiger shark was responsible for the attack, fitting the description given by Zach's friends. Weeks prior, hundreds of surfers had traveled to Coffs Harbor for the National Bodyboarding Championships. Those hundreds quickly became mourners for the young surfer and paid tribute along with Zach's friends, family, and community members at Grace Church, which was the teen's hometown church. Zach's brother Michael fought back tears, describing his brother's strength of character. His heartfelt speech included quotes such as, All of us know you have left for now, but you will always be alive in our hearts, and we will smile every time you cross our minds. In the wise words of Zacy, don't cry, keep your eyes dry, and get by. You were loved by so many because you loved too much. A smile so big, it tears through a saddened heart. After the service, up to 400 surfers and bodyboarders gathered on Town Beach in Port Macquarie, where they joined in prayer. They then paddled out into the ocean, where they held a minute's silence. Thousands of people also visited the Facebook tribute page set up in memory of the young surfer where friends praised him as a positive, happy person who lived life to the fullest and as someone who was always looking out for others. However, that wasn't the only place people came to mourn online. Zach's second to last post on his Facebook page was a call out to his friends to join him for a surf. With his friends struggling to come to terms with his death after the brutal mauling, that post served as a place for people to leave behind messages of tribute and friendship. Some of their quotes were sorrowful yet uplifting messages like this. Miss you, Zach. You made the world a better place. Your presence lit up the room when you entered. Your smile made a difference, and your words were uplifting. Love you, brother. I know you're surfing the sickest barrels in heaven right now. However, some of his friends managed to pull through during these tough times. Even though the shark attack was one of the scariest experiences a young group of teenagers could face, one of the boys who rescued Zack still said they would get back into the water, as that's what Zack would have wanted for them.